Hello students, in this video we will going to discuss about most important 25 MCQs of the topic plant tissue and this topic videos we have already discussed and linked in description box below. So let's start. First question, a group of similar cells performing a particular function is. Now you have to tell the group of similar cell means what. So the options are organ, body, tissue and organ system. So, the definition of tissue is a group of similar cells performing a particular function, it's tissue. So, the correct option is option C, tissue. Question number 2, tissues do only, options are particular function, multiple function, C, both, D, none. Now, tissue is a group of similar cells performing a particular function, it's called tissue. So, correct option is a that is particular function now here you can see in the image these are different different tissues of our body so there are many types of our tissues like connective tissue nervous tissue smooth muscles epithelial tissue so these all are tissue which performs a particular function in our body so let's take example of nervous tissue nervous tissue makes coordination in our body so this is Question number 2. Let's see. Question number 3. The cells of cork are dead and have a chemical in their walls that makes them impervious to gases and water. The chemical is. Now in this question, you have to tell the name of the chemical which is impervious in nature to gases and water. Impervious means impermeable which does not allow entry to gases and water. So the options are lignin, suberin, cutin and vaccine. So, here you can see in the image, it's a suberin deposition on the cells of a cork. So, correct option is suberin. Option B. Question number 4. The flexibility in plant is due to a tissue called. So, there are four options. Chlorenchyma, which helps in photosynthesis. Parenchyma, sclerenchyma, and cholenchyma. So the function of sclerenchyma is to provide support because it's a dead tissue. Parenchyma, the function of storage of food and cholenchyma which provide the flexibility to the plant. So the correct option is cholenchyma. So the option D is the correct option. Here you can see in the image there is a dark corner. So that is called thickened corner. Vacuum at the center to store the food and protoplasm. Question number 5. Which cell does not have perforated cell wall? Now here you have to tell the cell which doesn't have perforation, right? Perforated cell wall. So the options are tracheid, companion cell, sieve tubes and vessels. Now here you can see in the image, this is the vessel member which has perforation plate. Perforation means to sieve, to filter. So the function of perforation is to sieve. So in vessel member it is present. Sieve tube, it is present. Companion cell, it is present. But in tracheids, so the image of this one is tracheid, which had tapering point. So it is very pointed at the end. So that's why they have arranged laterally or at the tip of the tracheids. So the option is option A. Tracheid is the correct answer. Question number six: The dead element present in the phloem is. Options are companion cell, phloem fibers, phloem parenchyma, sieve tubes. These are the four options. Phloem parenchyma, sieve tube, these all are living cell which has nucleus in it except phloem fiber because phloem fiber is a dead tissue present in phloem. So the correct option is option B that is phloem fiber. Question number 7. How many guard cells surround the stoma? Now you have to tell the number of guard cells. So here you can see in the image it's a stomatal apparatus. So this brown color it's epithelial tissue, epithelial cell. Inside in it there is a two green structure and these are called guard cells which surround stoma, which surround the stomatal cavity. So this is the structure of stomata. So there are two guard cells. The correct option is B that is 2. Now, question number 8. Guard cells and stomas are found in which part of the plant? In this, you have to tell the location of stomata. So, in last video, we have discussed about the structure and function of stomata where we have seen the location also. So, this is the structure of leaf, right? And this one is the upper epidermis and this is 
lower epidermis so the location of stomata it's lower epidermis you can see you can find stomata lower side so correct answer is epidermis or more precisely you can say lower epidermis so this is the correct option question number nine which of the following does not lose their nucleus at maturity now there are four option first in this question we have to tell the cell which has nucleus till maturity so options are companion cell red blood cell vessels sieve tube cells now you know that companion cell is a cell which has nucleus till maturity so this is the structure of companion cell and here you can see this is nucleus so the correct option is option a companion cell question number 10 in desert plant the rate of water loss gets reduced due to the presence of options are cuticle stomata lignin and suberin so in desert plant the rate of water loss get reduced due to the presence of cuticle cuticle is a structure present in desert plant which prevent water loss so the correct option is a that is cuticle number 11 the water conducting tissue generally present in gymnosperm now gymnosperm is a plant which produce naked seed there are four options a vessels b sieve tubes c tracheids and d xylem fiber the correct option is tracheid let's see how tracheids is present in xylem vessel which transport food water and nutrient to the different different part of the plant so the correct option is tracheid option c is the correct answer question number 12 if the tip of sugarcane plant is removed from the field even then it keeps on growing in length it is due to the presence of so now there are four option option a cambium apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary meristem if you cut sugarcane plant from any part of the plant it keeps on growing in length because of intercalary meristem let's see how in the image you can see the, this is the picture of sugarcane and this is internodes these are the internodes and at every internodes intercalary meristem is present and this red color it's intercalary meristem which helps in growing so intercalary meristem is the correct answer of this question option number d is the correct answer question number 13 lignified thick cell wall with no cytoplasmic space in a cell is a characteristic of so there are four options parenchyma parenchyma it's a living tissue it has thin cell wall cholenchyma it's ha it has also thin cell wall epidermis so sclerenchyma is the correct option where you can find a thick lignified cell wall with no cytoplasmic space so this is the structure of a sclerenchyma where you can find the thick lignified cell wall so this part it's a lignified cell wall so this red red color it's a lignified thick cell wall the correct option is option number c that is sclerenchyma let's see question number 14 one of the tissue in the given option is dead tissue just now we have discussed sclerenchyma is the dead, dead tissue present in the plant so option c is the correct answer of the question number 14 now let's see question number 15 which is not found in xylem tissue when we have discussed xylem tissue xylem component there we have discussed the different different component present in xylem tissue so there are four uh, options c tube which is present in phloem xylem parenchyma tracheids and vessel so here you can see these are the components of xylem tracheid vessel fiber and parenchyma so only sieve tube it's not present in xylem fiber because the sieve tube present in phloem sieve tube is the component of phloem so option a is the correct answer of question number 15 question 16 one of the following is not a function of the stomata now you know that the function of stomata it's to exchange of gases helps in transpiration so only option a so the absorption of water from the atmosphere this is not the function of stomata so the correct option is option a now let's see question number 17 group of dividing cell of a plants are called now you know that group of dividing cell means what so the options are permanent tissue meristematic tissue vascular tissue d none 
Here you can see the image. There are three types of meristematic tissue that we have already discussed in previous video. So this is the apical meristem which is present at the tip of the plant. This is intercalary which is present at the node of the plant and this is the lateral stem which is present at the below side or in the bark of the plant. So these are the three types of meristematic tissue which continuously divide. So the correct option is meristem tissue. Option B is the correct answer of question number 17. Question 18 types of meristematic tissues are apical, calorie just now we have discussed. So the lateral meristem is the correct answer of the question number 18. Question number 19, chlorenchyma and erenchyma both are a type of, this also we have discussed in last video, that is types of parenchyma where we have seen the chlorenchyma and erenchyma are the types of parenchyma. So the correct option is A, parenchyma. Question number 20, tissues and tendrils of a climber plant and leaf stalks of a plant are example of which tissue? Now you have to tell the tissue which is present in the tendrils and leaf stalk of a plant. So tendril is a delicate part of a plant which support, which provide grip to the plant. So here you can see this is the tendril of a plant which is mostly present in climbers. So cholenchyma tissue in tendrils of climber plants and leaf stalk of a plant are example of Cholenchyma. 21. Simple permanent tissue has only a single kind of a permanent cell while the complex permanent tissue has. There are four options, at least four, at least two, all cells are different and D does not matter. Let's revise it quickly because this we have already discussed in plant. There are two types of tissue present in plant that is meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. So meristematic tissues are the continuously dividing tissue and permanent tissues are the incapable of division or they does not divide. So there are two types in permanent tissue that is simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. Now the simple permanent tissue is a tissue which has only single type of a cell. So the examples of simple permanent tissue are parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. These are the tissue which is made up of single kind of a cell. Now the complex permanent tissue is a tissue which is made up of more than one type of a cell. So the examples of complex permanent tissues are xylem and phloem. The four components were there in phloem and xylem. So that's why complex tissue is made up of more than one type. So the correct option from here we will choose option B that is at least two. Question number 22. Food storing simple permanent tissue. This is very common and most of the time examiner asks you to write about food storing simple permanent tissue and there are four options parenchyma, cholenchyma, scleroid, none. So the food storing tissue it's Parenchyma. Parenchyma is a tissue which store food, right? So the correct option is option A. Now let's see question number 23. Meristems have dense cytoplasm with prominent nuclei and thin cell wall but lake. So the options are mitochondria, ribosomes, vacuole and starch. So meristem is a continuously dividing, dividing cell which have cytoplasm, nucleus, cell wall. So only vacuole is absent in meristem. Here you can see the image. This is the cytoplasm. At the center there is nucleus and this is the cell wall. So only vacuole is not present in meristems. Question number 24, which type of thickening is found in protoxylum? Now you have to tell the thickening of protoxylum. So there are four options, reticulated, spiral, pitted and scalary form. These are the four options and these are the types of thickening present in different different types of xylem. So here you can see in the image, this is the different types of thickening present in xylem. So annular, spiral, scalary form, reticulated, pitted and pitted bordered so the correct option is scalary form this one is present this type of thickening is present in protoxylum so option d is the correct answer of question number 24 now let's see question number 25 hydrophytes float on the surface due to the presence of options are cholenchyma erenchyma sclerenchyma and mesenchyma now what are hydrophytes which float on the surface of water due to the presence of erenchyma, due to the presence of spaces in stems, right? So here you can see this is the TS of a stem which is present in hydrophytes. So here you can see the air cavity is present which helps them to float on the surface of water. So the correct option is option number B that is erenchyma. 
I hope you all have find this video helpful and interesting and if you do don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe the channel Scienceaholic and press the bell icon for more videos